The Christian view proposes that God intended to draw near to the Jews, but additionally, He also wanted to reach out to other people. His love has been shown through Jesus as the Lamb of God, the perfect sacrifice. Judaism attempts to solve the sin problem through fasting, prayer, kaporos, martyrology, or happy thoughts that God wouldn't really condemn a sinner to hell. Fasting and prayer are insufficient. Kaporos is purely symbolic of a valid missing sacrifice. It is not an actual or acceptable sacrifice. Martyrology fails on the lack of perfection of the martyr who lost his or her life. No basis exists to presume that God would accept the unclean sacrifice of a blemished subject, even if that subject was a brilliant sage. Neither would it be effective if that subject was a group of imperfect medieval Jewish sages. Most tragically, it would still not be effective even if the subjects equated to six million imperfect Jewish victims of Hitler's rage and insanity. The issue is not quantity, but quality. Scripture demands a perfect sacrifice. No rabbi, no concentration camp victim, no man is perfect unless the claims of Christianity are believed. We profess that the perfect man was the perfect lamb. Our atonement was secured through the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish, without spot. Whether one believes in hell or not, most folks do want to experience a pleasant afterlife. As others have said many times, everyone wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. So, while we live, it makes sense to live well, and it is reasonable to not take chances with our afterlife. Therefore, Bible-believing Jews and Christians often reflect on what they think God requires to find eternal peace after they leave this world. For Jews, there's a bottom line to Torah adherence. The precise language of the punishments associated with disobeying God's Sabbath and or His Yom Kippur commands are sobering. Reconsider the words of Rabbi Steinsaltz. He said the violation of the Sabbath laws is punishable by execution by an earthly court, while the violation of the Yom Kippur laws is punishable by excision. Rabbinic Judaism has sought its own method of circumventing the punishment. Their method is creative, but is it effective? Every Gentile and every Jew has broken the law. Every Gentile and every Jew should be concerned about the result. It is tragic that anyone would violate God's edict and fail to find true atonement or seek a scapegoat. Fasting removes pounds not sins. We need a sacrifice.